Yeah. Silent yeah. Hills, Mitch. Yeah, so Monday morning, we after we... Uh, well, I mean, there was a bit of, of rumors and concern about what was going to happen with Silent Hills after Kojima allegedly left Konami. GameSpot had a source that said he's kind of on his way out, he's contracting for now, but after Metal Gear Solid Five ships, he's gone and he'll leave Konami. Uh, we also found out, like, they're hiring a new Metal Gear team, so hey, they're probably going to get rid of the existing Metal Gear team. So that left a lot of questions about what would happen with Silent Hills, which, as we know now, as of Monday, is canceled. Like, it's right. not happening. Like, so it started over the weekend, I think, with a tweet or something from Guillermo del Toro, who said he's just not working with Kojima on it. Like, they're not collaborating yeah. on it. And that wasn't, like, everyone was like, wait, what does that mean? Is it still happening? Or are you just not involved? And everyone kind of, all this speculation started yeah. ramping up. And then on Monday or and whatever. And then the story over the weekend of, uh, hey, well, by the time you're listening to this podcast, uh, PT doesn't exist anymore yeah. unless you've already downloaded it on... Uh, which is on PSN, which is absurd. Yeah. Like, has that happened to a game of that caliber? Like, it's happened. We were no. talking. Like, so it's happened with some or certain XBLA games. Delisting. Yeah. Yeah. Like Lost that's, Cities that's and Doom a, got pulled. That's when a, a licensing or some sort of financial business arrangement <sighs> yep. expires. Yeah. This is so different. This is Konami like taking PT down and saying this game does not exist anymore because F of you. Either, yeah. Either yeah. Spite. <laughs> it's like it's got to be a spite thing. Like Kojima does not get his games on PSN anymore. Metal Gear Solid Spite. <laughs> <laughs> that should be the subtitle for the next game. Okay, Solid yeah. Spite. This Solid is a spite. major bummer. Yeah. I mean, PT was like one of the one games that I played. Well, so I don't even own a PS4, and I took one home from the office to play mm -hmm. PT because everyone was raving about Incredible. it here in the office. Uh, when the news broke, no one even knew what it was. It was just a really unique way. And then to figure out that it was this awesome legendary this... game designer working with a visionary film director with an awesome star, and it was going to be this new Silent Hills thing. That sounded like one of the coolest things it's, ever. It's the yeah. ult ultimate viral way to organically drum up interest in the community in a genuine way that engages and yeah. enthusiasm. And it wasn't and one of those gross viral marketing. Nope. It was yeah. like, here is an awesome, small, interactive game thing that if you play it correctly, you realize is like a prequel or prologue or leading yeah. to this amazing project that might someday And the way happen. it was pitched on Sony's stage was, hey, here's PT. It's called, uh, it's a playable teaser. You can go check it out now. It's free. Uh, look, at, here's a trailer about how scary it is. All, All right, right moving, moving on. on. Yeah. And that was it. Like, nobody was like, you should really go play this. Wait, oh, yeah. So seriously, you might want to know. Yeah. And that now, was the thing is like, there was, I remember it being announced and there were some people in the office who were like, All right, let's get to that. But then once words started to get out, like, wait, it's more than just, like, this little demo. It's actually, you know, like a teaser. Like, yeah. it's hinting at something future to come. Everyone, It blew everyone's mind. Yeah. More like Silenced Hills, am I right? Yeah. Hey. Not as good as Grayson. Nothing is. Nothing. <laughs> uh, the sad thing for this is, like, I guess definitively now, we will never, like, if you own an Xbox One and not a PlayStation 4, you will ne just never get to play this. No. Mm -hmm. Like, this game is gone. Yeah, I mean, I've, in a, the universe where Silent Hills does come out, I imagined it would have came out on Xbox oh, One yeah, as well. Oh, yeah, I'm, that's I'm sure the thing, and that's why I even included yeah. the story this week, because yeah, there was speculation because of PT being only on PS4 that, this was, that Silent Hills was going to be a PS4 exclusive, mm -hmm. but it, that was rather unlikely. Konami is a multi-platform <laughs> publisher, and other yeah. Silent Hill games have... So, yeah, I definitely wanted to I cover off on this. It, it being a PlayStation 4 exclusive, I wonder if Sony had any stake in this. Like, did they have money Maybe. invested in this? I mean, they have money. Uh, the fact, getting PT on PS4 alone, I'm right. sure they put money yeah. somewhere for that. So, like, <laughs> great deal. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. It gets weirder, too. Konami delisted itself in the New York Stock Exchange. Yeah, so that's oh, what man. I was just about to bring up. Is this news, in combination with that, in combination with, you know, Kojima on his way out, is Konami just kind of imploding? Well, that was... When... when we first talked about this after GameSpot first broke it all. I made the prediction here on the show that I thought, because you know, Konami, it turns out, they actually do a lot of things. They're yes. they're 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 yeah. a multi-armed business. So my prediction, which I think recent this week's events only back up, back me up. I think Konami within three years will be out of the video game business. That sounds which, more likely than them imploding as a company. Which makes yeah. me so sad because <laughs> uh, we have this series going on on IGN now that we've been filming. And have any of them actually released The no, History of Awesome? No. So it's this thing called The History of Awesome where it starts with 1977. I hope I'm allowed to yep. talk about this, yeah. whatever. Where And it's, it's, a, it's a group of editors or the, the passionate people that work here talking about all the cool things that happened in, in sort of nerd pop culture mm -hmm. in that year you know so 77 of course star wars that's where it begins and uh i was doing some research for uh, a couple of the years that i'm a part of the panel mm -hmm. for and they include a lot of nintendo games nes games and it just it, doing that research reminded me oh my god konami for 
25 years has developed and or published some incredible yeah. Such memorable, I have such great memories yeah. of the things that they were involved in, totally. on, uh, video yeah. game wise, and it will make me very sad. I mean, of course, I don't want anybody to lose their job, no. and it's, it's just, it's, it's just, it would be so sad for Konami's video game story to end this way. Yeah. I know I'm like prematurely writing their death certificate, but <laughs> yeah, it's just, where is all this going? Yeah, They're, where does Castlevania they, they go bought, to? They bought Hudson. One of which I was a ter- I bought it and owned oh, Turbo yeah. Graphics. I have, have a very soft spot for Turbo Graphics, uh, which you know was home to Bonk and uh, and it was H- it was Hudson's mm-hmm. deal. They were sort of the first party software maker for yeah. that platform. Konami bought Hudson a few years ago, so Konami owns Bomberman and they own Adventure Island mm-hmm. and these other things, and they've literally done nothing with any yeah. Hudson property. It's just man, yeah, so sad. What, yeah. kind of, what has happened to Konami in the last? you know, half decade or so. Mm-hmm. So I've made this prediction before. My prediction is that this is all a ruse. Really? This is Kojima's ruse. This is a uh, This is an viral, elaborate viral ruse. Morphing, along with the, the head transplant doctors. <laughs> this would be like the most <laughs> elaborate <laughs> hoax ever. Bitches had to hear this twice this week. Yeah. Uh, I always forget about the head transplant doctor thing. I think thing, this though. is all a ruse, except for the fact that the delisting off the New York Stock Exchange is probably illegal for a ruse. <laughs> yeah. I think this is viral <laughs> marketing. <laughs> Boom, Phantom Pain will come out, head transplant doctor will come out, and that was the head that they transplanted in the bag in Silent Hills. <laughs> Kojima's doing everything no, here with fa- El Toro, is just a liar. Phantom Pain comes out, and it's actually a teaser for Metal Gear 6, yeah. <laughs> or like a demo. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a teaser for Silent Hills. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't actually think that. I think this is all very sad, but hopefully uh, five years from now, Kojima's making something cool. And those other properties are in the hands of people who actually care about them and will do yeah. something. This makes me sad because this Amen. just this secures for sure. Like I always had hope, but now that hope is dead. Like I will never see a new Suikoden game ever again. Hmm. I mean, unless, unless it's a THQ fire sale. Ex- exactly what I was going to say. Someone buy Blades of Steel stat. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Someone buy Castlevania first. <laughs> Someone buy, buy the video game rights to the Goonies too. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Scott. Yeah. Remember that was a real video game. I the know. Goonies two mm-hmm. for the NES. The Goonies that was also a thing that happened. That was awesome. Dumb.